Hi guys, my name is Hari and this is Project Directory where we'll be focusing on technical videos related to projects that I and the OSS community have built. I'm currently at college and I've always hated how I'd always have to carry a charger along with my laptop because the charge just wouldn't hold up, not even for more than a couple of hours. This wasn't just an inconvenience, it was a major bottleneck for my productivity. My frustrations eventually led me on a search for better battery efficient and optimized software to replace the tools that I use at college, which is mostly my IDE. This search led me down a rabbit hole on terminal based text editors. What's more optimized than not having a GUI at all? The more I got into it, the more I realized that most, if not all of the tools that I use have a more efficient and often better solution in the terminal. I slowly got into the practice of using my terminal more. This is my comprehensive list of terminal based tools that I discovered on my journey in no particular order. I'm on Windows and obviously the default command prompt is not a great experience. For a while I used the newer Windows terminal which is a big improvement. However, I was looking for something more customizable and powerful that would work the same across Windows, macOS and Linux. That's when I found Western. Western is a GPU accelerated cross-platform terminal emulator and multiplexer, all written in Rust. It's extremely configurable and uses Lua, which is a simple scripting language to let the user configure it. You can customize everything from key bindings to tabs to panes and even create your own custom workflows. It also has built-in support for multiplexing, which means you can have multiple terminals running in one window without needing a separate tool like Tmux. For me, Westerm is the perfect blend of like performance and features and it has made my terminal experience on Windows so much better. You can't talk about terminal based text editors without mentioning NeoVim. It's a fork of the legendary Vim, which is a modal text editor, but with a focus on community driven development through plugins. NeoVim is incredibly powerful and modular. You can turn it into a full fledged IDE for any language with the right plugins and configuration. The configuration is done in Lua, just like Western, which allows for a very powerful and customized setup. However, this is also one of its biggest challenge. Getting started with NeoVim and configuring it exactly to your liking can be a steep learning curve. That's exactly why NeoVim has a lot of pre-built configs. Some of them include LazyVim, LunarVim, NVChad, which used to be my preferred daily driver, and AstroNVim, my current NeoVim setup. To download it, on Windows you can use the inbuilt package manager Winget or from Scoop. On macOS, you can install it using Homebrew. On Linux, refer the installing NeoVim guide for the command for your specific distribution. Link is in the description. While I have a working Astro NVim setup that I use from time to time, I actually found another editor that fits my needs better for a daily driver. For the longest time, I was a heavy VS Code user. I loved the features and the massive extension ecosystem. But as I mentioned, I was on a quest for a more lightweight and battery efficient setup. I then switched to NeoVim after hearing a lot on it. NeoVim was great, but after trying multiple NeoVim pre-built configs and finding them a bit slow on Windows, I stumbled upon Helix. Helix is a postmodern modal text editor just like Vim that's also written in Rust but is much lighter. It takes inspiration from Vim's modal editing but it simplifies it. What sold me on Helix is that it works great right out of the box. It has built-in support for language servers, debugging and a fantastic fuzzy finder. For my day-to-day -day coding, Helix has become my go-to IDE and I rarely find myself reaching for VS Code anymore. Ok, let's face it, while Git is powerful, using it from the command line can be a bit frustrating, especially when you forget commands and accidentally make an irreversible change. That's when I discovered probably my most favorite and most used TUI app, LazyGit, which I use almost every day. 
Lazy Git is a terminal UI for Git. It gives you a visual interface to manage your repositories. You can easily stage files, create commits, manage branches, and even handle interactive rebases with just a few keystrokes. I honestly can't imagine going back to using raw git commands for everything. Install it using your preferred package manager, pin git or scoop for Windows and homebrew for Mac. Talking about git, the github cli or gh for short is another tool that I use daily. It brings github to your terminal. You can create and view repositories, manage pull requests and issues and even connect to a code space all without leaving your command line. It's incredibly useful for scripting and automating your GitHub workflow. For example, you can create a new repository and push your code to it with just a couple of commands. It's like the perfect companion to lazy Git and makes managing my projects on GitHub a breeze. Okay, here's a thing that I thought wouldn't be possible. I thought there's no way I can replace GitHub Copilot on the terminal. That is until I found Gemini CLI. Gemini CLI is an AI assistant that I can use directly from my terminal. It's like having a GitHub Copilot that's lighter and integrated into your terminal. That's exactly what I wanted. I can ask it to explain a piece of code, suggest a refactoring or even write a function for me. It's incredibly helpful when I'm stuck on a problem or just want a second opinion. Download it from its official repository, github.com slash google gemini slash gemini cli. Now let's put it all together. My ultimate terminal IDE setup combines Westerm, Helix and the Gemini CLI. This is my workflow for most of the projects that I work on. With Westerm's multiplexing capabilities, I can create a layout that's perfect for my development workflow. Let me show you some of my favorite dev environments that I've created and use myself. For example, when I'm working on the Rust links exercises, I have a simple vertical split. On the left, I have Helix open to the current exercise file. And on the right, I have a shell where I can run Rust links to get instant feedback on my code. For Flutter development, I have a more complex layout. I have a pane for Helix to write my Dart code another pane running the app on my phone, a pane with the Gemini CLI ready to help me with any question that I have about the Flutter framework, a fourth pane in the left with my file explorer broot running. And for my general Rust development, I have a similar setup, Helix on one side, a shell for running cargo build or cargo run, on the other, the Gemini CLI in a separate tab for when I need it, and Bacon, which is my background code checker for Rust, more on that later. This setup I feel is incredibly efficient and allows me to stay focused in one environment. Here are a few more tools that I use to round out my terminal experience. Let's speed run this section actually. Broot, which I talked about earlier, is a modern file explorer for the terminal. It gives you a tree view of your files and allows you to fuzzy search and navigate your file system with ease. Zeoxide is a replacement for my cd command. It remembers which directories that I use most frequently, so I can just jump to them with just a few keystrokes. LSD LSD is a modern replacement for the ls command. It adds colors, icons and a much more readable layout to the file listing. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference in the day-to-day -day usability of my terminal. BAT BAT is a cat clone with syntax highlighting and git integration. When I use bat to view a file, it automatically detects the language and highlights the syntax, making it easier to read code. Bacon Bacon is a background Rust code checker. It watches my files for changes and runs cargo check in the background so that I get instant feedback on my code without having to manually run the command. It's a great tool for catching errors early. It's pretty crazy what you can achieve in terms of functionality in a terminal. Btop is my terminal based task manager that is faster, battery efficient and oftentimes more clear and informative than my actual windows task manager for certain things. Lastly, Talk, a terminal clock. 
Talk is just a simple clock that I built for myself for the terminal using pure Rust. It's built using the TUI framework Ratatouille. I keep my taskbar on Windows hidden and I was just tired of having to hover over my taskbar every time I needed to look at the time. So quick axe. Of course, it wasn't easy switching to the terminal for most of my workflows, but I'm so glad I made the decision because it has improved my workflow and made it so much faster and efficient. I learned a lot of new things like using my first modal editor, creating apps for the terminal and optimizing my workflow. And I hope you too learned a thing or two about the potential of your terminal. If you are interested in more terminal based projects, check out the top link in the description where I used Rust to create my own terminal UI app to manage all my Wi-Fi connections. It's called SIGUI. I've provided the download links for all the tools that I've talked about in the description. It will also be available in the script of this video in the form of an open source markdown document on my GitHub. Link in the description. Thank you for watching. Thank you.